What's going on, y'all? Machiavelli Mills TV. So yesterday, man, Boston Celtics defeated the Dallas Mavericks by a score of 106 to 99. Y'all, Boston about to sweep Dallas. They about to sweep Dallas, man. Yesterday, it really showed me this this and this series here and it and this entire series so far has showed me that Boston is an extraordinary team. For real. When you got games, yesterday Jason Tatum uh shot a lot better. Um, Jalen Brown got busy, but when you got a team where your star player, your best pack player, Jason Tatum, he can shoot terribly in the first two games and they still win and they still win decisively. Like that shows me this is a great team and a great team beats two superstars in the series. It's showing his head now before the series started. It was a toss up for me and I wouldn't have been shocked at all. Like, like if you would have, if honestly, if you would have told me to put some money on it, I probably would have put money on Dallas, right? Just because of the momentum they were having, the, the teams that they beat, how they was rolling. I'm like, yo, I might, I might, I said it was a toss up, but I might have put a little bit of money on Dallas. Right now, bro, like it's showing me I was so wrong, bro. Like Boston plays cohesively. They play like a unit. The way they swing the ball, the, their ball movement is outstanding. I watched them swing the ball, swing, 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 swing. Swing the ball until somebody get an open shot. That's great basketball, yo. You swing the ball until a man is open and they get the open shot. Ball moving is, is something I know Joe Mazzula em emphasizes, right? Then I'm looking at their defense. Sam Hauser, bro, tireless on defense. Tireless. He active all the time. And honestly, he's probably been an underrated defender for the last two years, right? Again, before the series, he had Stan Van Gundy saying that Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic was the most talented backcourt of all time, right? You had people saying that. Now you got people saying Dallas might need a little bit more help over there. That's the that is the defensive job that the Boston, excuse me, the Boston Celtics are doing on the Dallas Mavericks right now, right? I'm looking at this, bro. Derek Wright, Derek White has 16 hidden shot after shot. He open, he knocking that shit down, right? Sam Hauser had nine points. The defense, the whole unit is playing together. I'm like, bro, how you, you cannot, it don't matter even if they top guys are off, they figure out a way to win. And that shows me they have a great team. They got a great team. Um, again, like I said, JT can have terrible shooting nights in the first two games, but they, but his defense is solid too, right? I criticize the way, you know, because I, again, a lot of times, even when I watch Jason, offensively he leaves a lot to be desired at times to me right especially like um like them, them first two games and sometimes in big moments he leaves a lot to be desired offensively but defensively he always gonna play defense he always gonna play defense the dude six nine got long arms um has really great uh ball instinct can swat like again use those hands got active hands and can swipe the ball out of the defender's hand um Jason, excuse me, Jalen Brown the same way. Uh, Drew Holiday, y'all know what Drew Holiday does. Like, he's a big reason why Milwaukee won that championship uh, that they won, man. But, like, yeah, man. It's like the, their defense is really what keeps them, the defense and then, again, a ball movement. Before this game, we all said Kyrie Irving has to play much better. If he plays much better and gives Luka Doncic some help, they could win the game. Kyrie, had he played way better than he'd been playing. What Kyrie had yesterday? Kyrie had what? 35 points yesterday. Played way better. And guess what? They still couldn't bring it home. He brought it and they still lost. Right? Um, And again, what I'm watching is the Celtics are, they're exploiting Luka Doncic and Kyrie Irving's defense. They're going at them. They make going at them uh, on the offensive end and they're making them defend. They're making Kyrie and Luka defend on mismatches and they can't get no stops. And again, that's what a great coach does. Shout out Joe Mazzula. That's what a great team does. They executing the game plan like they supposed to. And I'm like, damn, man. Like, you got to give Boston some credit, man. Because again, I'm going to be for real. Everybody, including myself, we looking like, man, they had a look, they had an easier road a little bit. Well, for, I'm going to say this, though. I'm going to say this. In the play, you can only, you, you play who you play. You can't help who you play and who you match up with, right? And they beat everybody they was supposed to beat. They beat they they knocked them down, got them up out of there, right? Uh, and it did it in an efficient and an effective manner, right? 
Um, but people are like, yo, I don't know if they ready for the firepower of a team like this because they didn't play a team with this type of firepower. Shit, man. Got, they got everybody out here looking like, nah, bro. We ain't, we we was on some other stuff. We don't really know what we're talking about, right? Um, and I'm looking at this like, man, Dallas is playing so like Dallas was playing so well, people thought Dallas would win this series, but it's like, nah. <laughs> Boston, man, damn. I'm thinking about all the narratives like before Jalen Brown signed that deal. People like, no, they can't exist on the same team. Um, they thought each would need their own team because hey, everybody they both want to be star players. Where Jalen Brown can see, they thought the talks of who was the who team it was. They thought they would split the guys up. Like, no, I want my own team. You know, I, you know what happened to Penny Hardaway, Shaquille O'Neal, um, and later in his career, Shaq and Kobe, and you know all them people butting heads. They thought like, man, no, superstars like that cannot play on the same team and coexist. And it's working out perfectly well. If Jason Tatum struggling, Jalen Brown pick him up. If Jalen Brown uh, struggling, Jason Tatum pick him up. Hey, man. The C's got their guys, man. They got their guys, man. And um, it's, it's really, this is really great basketball to watch. And I'm saying this too. Dallas was down 21 at one point. They make a comeback. It's looking like, damn, Dallas might get the job done, especially when they at home. When you at home, you got all that momentum on your side and you got all the fans, you know, you they roaring behind you. The fans are serving as a six man. I'm like, oh, man. The Dallas, Dallas is going to have them. Dallas finna going to pull this off. And Kyrie and the team, they was in, they was in groove. P.J. Washington hit shots. They, they were doing everything. They were getting stops, doing great defensively. And shit is still, <laughs> like, uh, Boston was still able to pull it out. Jalen Brown was able to make shots when it mattered most in the clutch. Then again, as I'm talking about um, Boston putting pressure on Luka and Kyrie as defenders, Luca get fouled out with four minutes left to play in the game. So now the pressure is, okay, cool. He gone. He getting in trouble. He in trouble defensively. And then Luca getting mad, cussing all. He got to cut, cut, cut that out. He be cussing the referees out like crazy. I'm like, bro, you going to get ejected, bro. Relax. You got to chill, dog. The way you talking, cool that out, bro. Your team needs you. They, they, they need you desperately. He got fouled out four minutes left to play in the game. Kyrie Irving come in. I mean, not come in. He was already in. Now it's on Kyrie, but at the same time, because it's on Kyrie, it's easier to hone in on just him and make everybody else do something. Tim Hardaway Jr. Tim was like 0 7 yesterday, 0 7 yesterday. And I think Tim was like the third leading scorer on his team this season, but he was 0 7. You know, so man, Boston's defense, they're relentless. Uh, they know how to get the job done, man. And um, yeah, this is, this is about to be a sweep. I don't even see it be a gentleman being a gentleman sweep. I don't see Dallas winning one game. Uh, yeah, Boston just showed me they're a better team. They did this without Porzingis. Without Porzingis, they got the job done. That's another thing. They don't even need KP to get them up out of there. They had a big lead, big ass lead. They fumbled. They, you know, they kind of not kind of. Yeah, they shit. They almost had a meltdown, but they closed it out, sealed the deal. Derek White, Jalen Brown hitting shots when it mattered most. It's like, bro, they got guys that can step up in any form of fashion. You know, and um, ain't no team ever came back from a 3-0 deficit. I don't see it happening this time. I believe this will be a sweep, in my opinion. What do y'all think? Leave us comments in the comment section below. Peace.